Hi everyone, this is Bia, owner and artist of Tinkawala Arts. Today I want to talk about the Woodland Creatures Joy-Con stick caps and how Hot Topic may have copied my design. Many of you know me for being the creator of three Joy-Con cap designs, which are a frog, a bee, and a bear, which I first created with the help of Kickstarter backers in 2020. I had the idea of designing original Joy-Con thumb grips. At the time, the designs available for Joy-Con thumb grips were pretty limited. It didn't seem to me at the time that there were many other artists designing their own thumb grips. If you went on Etsy back then and saw someone selling them, you could pretty much assume that they did not create the artwork for them and they were just reselling them. As a result of the fact that there were very few artists involved in the actual designing of these items, to me, the designs looked really bland and generic. I set out to come up with something original and I know for a fact that my Joy-Con caps were the first ones to feature frogs and bees. Unfortunately, the manufacturer I worked with was very untrustworthy, and without my permission, they distributed my original designs to seemingly as many sellers as they possibly could. Copies of my work started popping up all over AliExpress, and it was a nightmare trying to get all of these listings removed. I even found that some other sellers on Etsy were buying from the AliExpress listings to sell the Joy-Con caps on their Etsy shop, while I was also selling on my Etsy shop, except only I had actually created the item. Ultimately, I was able to file copyright claims and get many of the listings on AliExpress taken down. This was a bit of a complicated process, so let me know if you guys might be interested in a separate video on that topic of how exactly to do that in case you're ever in that situation. Despite the fact that I was able to get the listings removed, the damage had already been done. Likely thousands of sales were made to people who had no idea they were buying an item that was infringing on copyright, and now this brings us to Hot Topic. I only recently came across this listing on Hot Topic for something called the Woodland Friends Thumb Grips, featuring a frog Joy-Con cap. I don't think I need to say anything about this, the correlation is there. Now I do want to say, it is very possible that they had never seen my thumb grips and just came up with this similar idea at almost the same time. This sort of thing does happen. Just as an example, for a long time I've been considering making a mushroom Joy-Con cap with a cute smiling face, which is something they produced here and I have never made yet. But there is something about Hot Topic that makes me think that it is more likely that they saw my design and deliberately wanted to copy it. If you know, you know. Hot Topic is infamous for stealing art from artists. They often slightly change design from a smaller creator and then sell it as their own with no compensation going to the original artist. If you haven't heard of this, definitely look it up and see what's going on. It's really terrible. So what's the answer here? As the artist, what am I gonna do about this? For now, the answer is pretty much nothing. While I'm inclined to believe that they did see my design and my name and they deliberately copied it, I can also recognize that it's possible that they just had a similar idea. They didn't copy my design exactly as they have done in many other cases. I actually think the frogs they made are cute. I don't think I have any legal recourse here and I don't know if I would even want to take that route in this instance. Really, I feel happy that I've been able to sell thousands of these myself, send people an item that they love, and to exert a huge influence in this very particular niche. Thank you to all of you who support me and my art. You have actually and tangibly changed my life. I don't know what's coming next for my business, but I hope it will be even bigger than this. I hope this has been a fun video, a unique insight. Let me know in the comments, what do you think you would do in this situation? Are you concerned that something like this could happen with your art? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Tinkalila. See you next time. Bye.